Knows Best is probably a title that Hogan wrote and booked for himself. <laughs> We're starting off early in this one. Hogan Knows Best is an American reality documentary television series that debuted in July 2005 and centered on the family life of professional wrestler Hulk Hogan. Often focusing on the Hogan's raising of their children and on Hulk Hogan's attempts to manage and assist in his children's career. Because I mean, you know the big three B's in the Hogan grind set, right? It's bollocks, booking, brother, brother. That's how you become a successful Hogan. You've got to always make sure that you're chatting a load of bollocks and lying about stuff that never happened. You obviously have to always go ahead and make sure that your booking is Who's strong. Last but certainly not least, you've always got to make sure that you're brothering. Brother, brother. Now one of the most bizarre facts about this Hogan verse, dude, is that this show was cancelled, but then little Brooke Brother Hogan got her own spin-off called Brooke Knows Best in 2008. And that show in of itself ran for two bloody seasons. What? I will go ahead and say that this show Hogan knows best has been recommended for quite some time by you guys and it's been recommended quite a lot so I thought why not go ahead and give the little DD Janiacs exactly what they want. So eat your vitamins and say your prayers brother because it's time for a Hogan knows best dude. Hogan knows best. She's turned 16 years old and you can't tell her anything sometimes. I'm overprotected because- Right now, I'm trying to make it in the music business, and my dad is very worried that boys or, you know, anything like that is gonna sidetrack me from- I'm not allowed to go to the mall or go out on a date. You gonna be coming up? Uh, yeah, hopefully I'm gonna get a chance to be coming up that way. I was just trying to see if you wanted to, like, go out and do something different. I mean, we can go to, like, Bush Gardens, but we can do, you know, maybe we could even, like, get dinner afterwards or something. Why did he say it like that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to coming up that way. What? She's like 16. First of all, this has been way too normalized in the 2000 shows. These fucking 23 year old guys who are just like, hey, so I'm cool. I've got like a car. What's up, 16 year old girl? Okay, EDP. The show opens up instantly throwing you into a classic mid 2000s story. Classic overprotective, kind of strict parent doesn't want their daughter going on a date with this new random older guy. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the basis for quite a few Hannah Montana episodes. But then she's all like, no, but dad, he's like, he's like an older guy. Like, he's like 22 and has a car and I know I'm only 15, but for some reason that's okay on Disney Channel. Seriously, folks, please go ahead and reflect on your favorite 2000s TV show and see if they pass the yikes test because uh, you'll be surprised to learn a lot of them don't. Most of them do not go ahead and hold up well, so you've kind of got to be a secret fan nowadays and watch them on the low key, you know, you kind of publicly, you've got to be like, oh, that 70s show, I hate that, I never even watched it anyway. Next on Disney Channel's Friday Night. Adam. Who the hell is this guy? This fucking start of Skate 3 looking ass motherfucker. I met Adam through a car that I'm building, the Toyota Supra. Oh my god, uh, what is this? Pimp my ride? Jesus Christ, this is the most 2000s thing I've ever seen. Parents think that Adam is a very nice college student. Total bookworm, but Adam definitely has another side to him. Yeah, Adam has another side to him, as they describe him as if he's a fucking comic book villain. In the daytime, Adam loves to study and work hard, but at night, there's another side to Adam. Find out on an all new Law and Order. I'm old enough to date. No, right not now. like, no, not like dating, like going steady, like you go back to a That's place how and it starts. bang him. No, mom, I'm smarter than that. Every single. Part of my life, you guys just hold me down. It's like I'm on the road or I'm at home locked. First of all, uh, Brooke Hogan, I've read enough of these serial killer books to know these older guys, you can go ahead and say, no, mom, I can protect myself. No, mom, I'm smart enough. If he hits you in the head with a hammer like Harvey the Hammer, you're fucking dead. All right, brother. No, baby. Dad, do you remember Adam? Well, that jabroni that charged me too much for parts, yeah. <laughs> we could, like, go to Bush Gardens or something. And Nick? No, just me and Adam. You and Adam. <laughs> he's about to drop a leg drop on him. Hey, brother. And she just turned 16. Not like he's 35. Uh, not as long as my name's Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> <laughs> not as long as my name's Hulk Hogan, brother. That's not... You know what? Actually, I agree with Hulk Hogan here. What? She just turned 16 in this 20... A crime. Again, I never want to agree with Hulk Hogan. I never want to agree with the Hulkster, but in this situation... He's kind of right, dude. Like, this girl just turned 16, and this 22-year-old jabroni wants to date her? What the fuck? Well, Dr. Disrespect, you can't find anyone your own age? You sick freak! 
<laughs> oh, what's that? You don't have any game in the 22-year-old league, Cody Co. Is your meat that mini, lad? I, just I, gonna say, I love how Hogan just says, I'm not dealing with this right now, little Hulk Hogan offspring. I'm gonna go hit legs, brother. Right on the backside, he's scamming. Looking at Brooke for the booty call. I can't believe you even think about letting her go. Well, you know, I wouldn't let her, I'm not letting her go on a date. I can't let that happen. I mean, there's gotta be another way around it, whether it's a chaperone. Whoa, 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 whoa hang whoa. on. Did you just say it took my breath chaperone? Away. You think you're going on a date with my friend's 16 year old daughter? You think you got what it takes to be a man? Big fucking deal. There's then a hilarious segment where Hulkster channels his inner LA noir and goes all detective looking at the roots and whatnot for where they could go on this date. You think Brooke would kill us if she found out we were doing this? Uh, she'd be probably upset, but you know what? I'd rather have it be upset than unprotected. <laughs> it's so annoying that he's actually got a valid point. I mean, to be fair, putting a tracking chip in his car or whatever or on her is a little insane. It's a little watchdogs, but I get it. I understand, you know. She goes missing in this car speeding down I-95. Hulk Hogan's gonna be right behind her in the in the red and yellow mobile. Mean, where do you think you're going, brother? Come back here, dude, before I drop the leg drop on your ass, dude. He's cool and he understands the rules, then we're in business. Thank you, Dad. All right, well, I love you. Aw, thank you, Dad. <laughs> this genuinely could have been on Disney Channel. I can't believe this shit, man. I can't believe this like, shit. I don't know, you know, just- No problem, I, 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 we'll, we'll clear it by him, don't worry. Is that cool? Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro does not know who her dad is. He was like, oh, I'll go clear it with your dad. That's fine. Who's your dad? He fucking breaks through the fucking door. I'm your dad, dude. Now, let me tell you something, uh, weird 22-year-old guy that's staying Hulk Hogan's door. Brother. You're not going over in that situation. Brother. In any situation. Brother. You're not going over. Brother. Hey, how are you? How are you? It's great how to you see been? you. How, how you doing, honey? Adam's here. Well, wrestling's on. <laughs> this dude finally grew a pair of cojones to go and ask the big Hulkster if he can go take his daughter on a date or whatever. But guess what? He didn't check the fucking schedule. Whoa, whoa, whoa now hang on a second, brother wife. What's that? Adam's here? Too bad. Wrestling's on. I'm watching real craps right now. Fuck off, brother. And hang on a second. This is 2005 as well. He's probably locked into Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels right now type shit. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on a second, Adam22. You're gonna have to wait a second and let him finish some serious craps right now. He's locked up. Fuck it. I hate to be unsociable. I need to talk to Adam for a few minutes. Also, while I'm editing this, I'm just now noticing that theme that is playing in the background, that is in 2K nowadays, right? That's like hardcore 2. That is one of the generic themes. The Honestly, if Hulk Hogan wasn't racist, Man, he'd be hel a hilarious character to just meme. I swear he would. Why do you have to go ahead and say that N-word, man? This could have been a great time right now, but I can't get fully behind it because you're... Ugh. You know, and I'm, I've only got a certain capability of understanding the whole the whole outline here of how this works. I know Brooke is 16 <laughs> years old. What, wrestlers don't understand dating? What? That was yeah, actually, we got chatting. Uh, hit it off good. Hold on! Mm. There's no way to justify this. Wait a minute! No, none! Trying to strike a chord and it's a minor. Uncharted territory of not legal. I'm not sure what the, the laws are. Luckily, none of those laws apply to going out. Those are only applicable for, you know, sex. Shut up! Brooke's not sexually active. Seriously, how was I sat there witnessing a grown man defend going on a date with a fucking child? How? I didn't lose my virginity until I was 19 years old. That's a lie. Yeah, so basically you are sexually active. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Hulk Hogan's fucking grilling this guy. He is like, this is a bit weird, dude. And he's like, I, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 19. First of all, loser. Second of all, uh, I'm kidding, by the way. 19 is, is a normal age. Whenever you're ready, okay? I'm a good advocate, okay? Don't worry about it. That was a joke. That was, I was kidding. And then in this little interrogation scene right here, Hulk Hogan's all like, you do understand the law, don't you? Oh, trip, Triple H? Triple Hogan? Trip, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan? You do understand the law, don't you, buddy? Uh, and then he's all like, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't going to do anything. That That's not breaking the law. I wasn't going to do anything. That doesn't work for me, dude. <laughs> like, tell it to the fucking law, buddy. That doesn't work for me, brother. If you're the big age of 22, why do you even want to be friends with a 16-year-old? And better yet, why would you go ahead and call it a date, which generally implies sex or a relationship to come? There's no doubt about it. I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of you, Adam. I want you... 
You sure those guns didn't get bigger since the last time I was here? That's my big homie! They're about the same size. I also gotta go ahead and say, this conversation was off to a hot start when Adam waltzes into Hulk Hogan's big brother house, and he walks up to the Hulkster and he tries to schmooze him. He's all like, wow, uh, y y your guns are looking nice. You've been working those recently? Wow, look at those. He's all like, oh, did those guns get bigger since the last time I saw you? And Hulk hits the antagonized Red Dead option right there. He's like, oh, they're, they're, they're the same size, brother. Now let me tell you something, brother. You're gonna take my daughter on a date to that fine bar in Valentine, and you're gonna get her back here to the Hulk Hogan Big Brother house, or I'm gonna turn into a wolf -a maniac dude all over your ass. It pertains to Brooke, either. Well, I didn't say it pertained to Brooke. I was just talking to you. Oh. You were curious about my sex life? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was that? You curious about my sex life? Yeah? <laughs> Where are you going in? We're gonna take the blue beast out there. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's not, that doesn't work for me, brother. That's what he just said right there. That doesn't work for me. All right. Either way. Well, just as long as we're on the same page. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're hanging out in the same arena. And it's your arena. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm annoyed. We're hanging out right now. What, what, what is he doing? Bench pressing a cat. <laughs> Why the fuck did he just pick up that fucking meow and go, oh, this is me, brother. That's what I can do. The cat's like, Wee! but this dude fucking Adam22 over here just said, I think we're hanging out in the same arena and it's your arena, Hulk. Stop trying to kiss his ass, you jabroni. And also, Hulk Hogan really saved the fucking mission right there. He was like, uh, that, that doesn't work for me, dude. I think you should take Brooke's car, you know, because that, that's the one with the chip in it. You should take Brooke's car, dude. And he's like, of course, man, of course. Like, totally, like, I'm chill. Like, whatever, brother. I can't believe my dad said yes. Like, I'm just praying to God. I'm like, please don't let me wake up. Please don't let it be a dream. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, Brooke. He barely said yes. It, it is a dream, a little bit. Let me see after you get dressed. <laughs> he just started taunting as if I'd left him idle for about 20 minutes. He was just doing fucking taunts backstage. What the fuck am I seeing right now? This feels inappropriate. Of course. Yeah. You know, no physical stuff. <laughs> Dad, I'm just telling I you. Won't. I know you won't, but I don't want him pawing you. No, man, no, nah, nah, you can't be doing this, Adam. It's, it's not a date. Bringing flowers to the door? Yeah, Brooke's not ready. <laughs> I thought he just said, Brooke's not ready, dude. Doof. I thought he closed the door Can on you him. imagine the door busts wide open? Hello, I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC. Why don't you go ahead and take a seat? Yeah, so uh, so it says here that you were going to meet the, the daughter of a wrestler. Is that right? He's like, uh, but, but I wasn't going to have sex with her. Th that's not why I was, th that's not what I was doing. I was just going to like go go buy pizza or something and like just eat some. Well, that's that's not what, what, our, what our cameras uh have, have have seen here and what our notes pick up and and these, in these texts uh you, you said you're gonna oh my goodness that's so graphic you went ahead and said that you're you're gonna drop the leg on her what what leg did you imply here adam or, i hope you're not talking about your third leg that's that's a felony that's that's a felony charge that's not cool brother. Genuinely would have been one of the most beast crossovers of all time. Like, I know I'm joking around for the sake of comedy and everything, but, uh, this genuinely isn't okay. Like, don't do this. This is on the verge of being a fucking prison break, okay? Yeah. Nah, bro, you gotta do better parenting than this. You're letting her go out dressed like that? With this older guy? Whoa. Oh, I can't. I can't. First you brought him move, he didn't open the door for him. He didn't. He didn't open the door. <laughs> Did he just say that's such a Brody move? He didn't hold, he didn't open the door for her. Good grief! Then again, it's just a friend's date, right? You don't have to hold the door open for every friend. You know that's fine. Had like hung up on his refrigerator and stuff. Like she's got like alcohol and stuff all in his house and whatever. He's got the pool table. Mom, that stuff. You need like be smart as a little bit. He's a cool kid. It didn't cross my mind till now. I can't watch this. It's so cringe, but it's fucking insane. Appropriate for him to take you to a gay beach. You went to a gay beach with Adam Myers. Sure well, that's even worse then. Take it. This guy is one of the worst Among Us players. Yeah, you should fucking hit him, Mrs. Hogan. Hit him over the head. Hit him head. Hit him over the head with a fucking steel chair, okay? Bang. That'll teach him. Seriously, this guy went ahead and saw someone killing on cams two fucking rounds ago, and now all of a sudden he's like, uh, hey, hey guys, I've I've got something I've got something to say. I've got, I've got some information actually uh, that that might help us. <laughs> 
S solve this case over here. Uh, well, your sister's already been turned into fucking red and yellow soup, but I guess now is a good time to bring it good up, Good fucking huh? timing, buddy. Good timing. Give that guy a manual. Here. You have no idea how excited I am. We have 275 and I-4. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a, he's loaded up the fucking UAV. He's got the fucking SR-71 inbound. Hang on a second. Where is, where is she right now? Oh, she's right there. Okay, I can see exactly where she's pointing. This guy Hulk Hogan might be the greatest Call of Duty player of all time. He's really locked in right now. He's about to drop a nuke, I think. We're about to hear that guy from Modern Warfare 2 with the terrified voice. He's going to be like, Enemy ACO, He's clean. Rhinos have sex for like two days at a time. <laughs> really? Nah, man. Nah. You can't be doing this. No. Why of all the facts you could have brought up, rhinos have sex for two days at a time. Lock this man up. I swear, Dateline NBC, get in there. This is literally like what inspired Drake to text Millie Bobby Brown. He was probably watching an episode of Hogan Knows Best and he was like, you know what? <laughs> Hulk Hogan's locked in. This is like, um, oh, that show. What, what was it? Dog the Bounty Hunter? What was it called? Whatever that show was. I forget the name. Um... Oh, I forgot. Uh, the, the Bounty Hunter show. That one. No, I said home by dark. I see dead people. Um, we just left the park. But no, I said home by dark. As it's fucking clearly still broad daylight outside. Get home now, dude. Thanks for being so cool about everything, Dad, and I love you. Alright, sugar game. Love you. Love you. This, I can already tell I'm gonna watch many episodes of this fucking show. I, this is insane fucking content. Yeah, Dad. Thanks for being so cool about everything. Meanwhile, he's got a chip inserted inside Adam's brain, which he placed just before breakfast, and he's got an orbital V set up in the air. Yeah, Dad. Thanks for being so cool. Good wreck. What? Oh, what? I forgot we went here on your recommendation. Oh, I thought you said good rack. I'm like, what? Nah, man. N what? Why are you tempting him? He's talking about a topless beach. She is like, <laughs> I thought you said good rack. Uh oh, bitch. <laughs> this is just the the ideal time for a for a nice breast cup. <laughs> nah, man. The, the, the mid 2000s were so different. Like, this is some Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis type shit. Like, like dating her since she was a child type shit. Like. Was it just normalized back then? I guess. Brooke eventually heads home where Hogan is waiting for her and her date. Uh oh. Oh, I just saw my dad get up. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Hulk Hogan's going to be waiting at the door. <laughs> We're out. Adam, thank you so much for everything. Cookie, star. Hey, get in here. Bye. He's like, okay, brother. That's too much PDA right there for me, dude. Come on, brother. I just love to see her happy. I just love to see that she had a good time. I don't know what? if Terry will let her go out. With what do you mean you love to see her happy? She's dating a pensioner. This guy's... Ah. I'm still, like, legitimately a little surprised that Hulk Hogan wasn't just waiting at the door with a 12-gauge. He's like, Ch -ch -ch. I said before dark, dude. What the fuck time do you call this, brother? It was a real eye-opener. I think we've had enough Adam. An eye opener? Call the cops! Assess the situation and go out with someone more his own age. Dating my ass brother. <laughs> Genuinely, one of the most insane first episodes of any show I've ever seen. Like, like this dude just, he danced around a literal crime and in the mid 2000s we said, wow, that's good television, you know, wow. Now just as this episode ended, it auto played the spin-off Brooke Knows Best where apparently in the first episode, she gets her own first place. This week on Brooke Knows Best, after 19 years of living in the Hogan household, I decided it's finally time to move out on my own. I cannot believe this is your first place. This is insane. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is a new level of privilege. What the fuck? This is like Franklin's after he went through all that bullshit in GTA 5. This is like his mansion. And as far as I know, Brooke, you ain't you ain't been putting in any fucking shifts in a heist, okay? Where were you when we were doing the heist prep missions? Exactly. Fucking A1. But that will just have to be a teaser for now for a future episode because I think we're far from done with Hogan Knows Best, brother. You know, I, I can't think of a more perfect way to end that right there for him to just be like, what's well, something, something, brother? Doof. Yeah, man, let's not talk about the fucking crime that was just committed. No, fuck all that. No, uh, he'll, he'll learn his lesson, dude. And sometimes I just hope that in the future, he'll, he'll, he'll date someone his own age, you know? But it's a lesson learned by us all. And uh, we'll See you next week for another episode of Hogan News Best. No, it's best, brother. My bad, brother. I haven't eaten my vitamins and said my prayers yet today, dude. But let me tell you something, brother. 
that guy, if he comes back around here touching my daughter. Well, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hope that the next episode just opens up with a voiceover. It's all like, Adam, age 22, was uh, sentenced to prison for the rest of his life where he'll run in a jail cell for his crimes against Hulk Manity, brother.